let's talk about HAPE, or high altitude pulmonary edema. The pulmonary edema refers to fluid buildup in the lungs and the high altitude is what influences it. It happens to mountaineers, rock climbers, or indigenous people who live at high altitudes. It happens because when ascending to high altitudes, the amount of oxygen available begins to decrease. After only around 6,000 feet, the concentration of oxygen in the blood drops significantly. To accommodate this drop in oxygen availability, blood vessels all over the body, and most importantly the lungs, begin to constrict, so blood, and therefore oxygen, only reaches locations where it's needed most. But because of this constriction, as a result, blood pressure starts to rise. It's like in a network of pipes, and most of the pipes get blocked, so all the water is forced down a single channel, and this results in a pressure increase. But blood vessels are not pipes, they're porous. Tiny microscopic holes exist all throughout the walls of the blood vessels, so, with this extra and unusual pressure, fluid starts to leak from the vessels into the lung tissue, and eventually this fluid leaks into the air sacs, or the alveoli, of the lungs. In normally functioning lungs, the oxygen-rich blood flows into the lungs, and then oxygen moves into the alveoli. But, when they fill with fluid, this process cannot happen efficiently, and oxygen-rich blood can no longer move in and out of the lungs, or throughout the body. And without oxygen, your body starts to shut down drowning on land. And when it happens, it happens quickly. So without immediate intervention, those who suffer from it will die. Let's talk about some of the most important factor in treating HAPE is increasing the amount of oxygen that the patient inhales in each breath. The first step that should be taken is to provide the patient with supplemental oxygen through a mask or nasal canola, a plastic tube with openings for each nostril. The second simple and very effective treatment of HAPE is moving the patient to a lower altitude where the air pressure is higher and the oxygen content of each breath greater. In situations where the patient is unable to move under their own power, helicopter rescue attempts may be necessary. If conditions are not correct for a helicopter rescue and descent under manpower is impossible, a portable hyperbaric chamber, which is a sealed container, can be pressurized to simulate descent. This is a temporary solution and is good for stabilizing the patient while planning either a descent or organizing a helicopter rescue. It is important that during treatment, the patient does not do too much physical activity and also stays warm, as physical activity and cold can both make symptoms worse. When a person comes in with symptoms that can indicate higher altitude, pulmonary edema, it is important to ask the patient if they have visited a region with altitude higher than 3,000 meters. If they do have a record, it is likely that they are experiencing HAPE when oxygen concentration in the body goes lower than 60%. The person's heart has to be normal with no evidence of congested heart to be diagnosed. This means that the ventricular heart chamber is thicker than average and the volume of blood ejected from the heart is lesser than average. HAPE patients may also experience shortness of breath at rest and headache when they increase pressure in the abdomen. A quick test that can be done to increase pressure in the abdomen is the Valsava maneuver, which can be completed by pinching your nose, closing your mouth, and try breathing out. When looking at their lung x-ray, HAPE patients with High altitude pulmonary edema or HAPE is a non-cardiogenic pulmonary edema which typically occurs in lowlanders who ascend rapidly to altitudes greater than 2,500 to 3,000 meters. This condition can be life-threatening if unchecked. Some symptoms consist of headache, which may be the first symptom, shortness of breath with activity, which worsens the shortness of breath at rest, decreased ability to exercise as you once could, dry cough at first, later a cough that produces frothy pink sputum, general weakness, chest pain, low-grade fever, a very fast heartbeat or tachycardia, pulmonary edema that comes on suddenly, acute pulmonary edema is life-threatening. Call 911 emergency medical help if you have any of the following acute signs and symptoms. Shortness of breath, especially if it comes on suddenly, trouble breathing or feeling of suffocating, 
a bubbly, wheezing, or gasping sound when you breathe, pink, frothy sputum when you cough, breathing difficulty along with a lot of sweating, a blue or red color to your skin, a significant drop in blood pressure resulting in lightheadedness, dizziness, weakness, or sweating, confusion, a sudden worsening of any pulmonary